for now. Let's take a look at the coronavirus impact here in Michigan. New numbers from the state today show another 206 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Michigan and another 25 lives lost. Efforts to find a coronavirus vaccine are about to take another major step forward. But the declining levels of cases in some areas could actually hamper those efforts. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain the reasons why. Yeah, Kim and Devin. So in order to know if a vaccine is actually protecting the people who have been vaccinated, those people need to be exposed to the virus. So remember, researchers cannot deliberately expose participants in clinical trials, so the virus needs to be circulating in the community that they live in. That means the success of the trials is going to come down to location, location, location. If you go in and you have dribs and drabs of infection, even though you have 30,000 people in the combination of placebo and experimental, it could take months and months and months and months to get an answer. Speaking to JAMA Live, Dr. Anthony Fauci said sites are now being prepared to start large phase three studies next month of the Moderna vaccine developed at the National Institutes of Health. It's critical to test the vaccine where the virus is spreading. If you start the phase three, and then when you're a month or two into it, you happen to get in an area that you highly vaccinated, where you've had a big outburst of a surge of cases, you could get your answer pretty quickly. Those trials will be located in the U.S. and other countries as well. Now, starting this month, Brazil will host the next round of testing on the COVID-19 vaccine that's being developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca. Brazil has the second highest number of cases after the U.S., and the curve there is still rising. Fauci says he remains cautiously optimistic that an effective vaccine can be made. The majority of people make an immune response which clears the virus, which tells us that if the body is capable of making an immune response to clear the virus and natural infection, that's a pretty good proof of concept to say that you're going to make an immune response in response to a vaccine. Now, Dr. Fauci said he is concerned about the durability of that immune response, meaning how long it might last. With several other coronaviruses, like those that cause the common cold, the length of protection is generally only a year or less. And we still don't know how long any protection, either from recovering from or from a vaccine, might ultimately last. Big problem. Indeed. Well, Dr. McGeorge, do we know any more about how they will test these vaccines and in whom they will test them? Well, you know, primarily they're going to be targeted right now at age people at people age 18 to 55, but there are also going to be elderly volunteers as well as people with other underlying health conditions. Remember, the phase three trial is designed to get a much bigger picture of how people respond to the vaccine and any potential side effects as well. So they're casting a much wider net on participants. Yeah. Back to you. Yes, indeed. Okay.